Okay. Welcome. Okay, I guess that does nothing. Oh wait, we leveled up, didn't we? Yeah, okay. We only got two points. Um, extra shield capacity. Restores 30% of my shield per second. Oh, yeah, unlock sniper rifles. And we're gonna freaking do that. Heck yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so my class, I only have pistols and sniper rifles up here. And finesse increases my health and damage protection. And this is damping and that. Okay. Okay. Um. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Well, aren't you special? Where is the stupid guy so I can talk to him and get the other dude's wife's body back? <clears throat> so he can burn her in a tube. And I guess sprinkle her ashes places? I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Can't go in there. Guys are like ants. They're very big and they're very. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Um, I just That's came here to remote. say hi. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Are you you so seem cranky? to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising oh, rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Boo hoo, cry me a little Goodbye, more, ambassador. dude. Those big yes, elephant yes. guys Good look day, or Earth sound Clan. like, um, what's that one guy? I think he is not Eugene Levy, but I think it's his brother. He used to do those clear eye commercials. And she just teleported through the wall. You are very useful already. Um,. Yeah, clear eyes. Wow. I liked him. He was funny. I really liked him in the mask, actually. Hey! Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Yeah. My wife's where, is his, where is Bosker, where actually? Find Mr. Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. Expensive bar so this way. Gotcha. Expensive bar over here. Nope, but you look like an angry person, so I don't want to go that way. Ah, this looks like a bar. Diplomat. Uh, ba ah, Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Um, yeah, I the am. Thank made for you. Quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses. No. Yes, 
A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Haven't you just released the body? Serviceman Narali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Narali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting what? may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Mm. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Uh. Hmm. I guess I'll go Paragon on him. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander! You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. Bam! Right, Commander, you win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Damn right Tell you Samash aren't. that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Sure. Paragon plus eight, heck yeah. Not quite sure how that's gonna affect me in the long run. That's what's so exciting about games like this, is how everything can affect you in the long run. I think my favorite thing um, for that was... Oh, I missed a traceable account. that means whatever um let's talk to her i forgot i could talk to her. so much empty space a thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other oh your knees do that really cool thing that's awesome it never gets dark here they keep the artificial sunlight on at all times that's lame should at least have a day and night cycle but I mean, I guess that does, that does explain why there's no day and night cycle in this game. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Uh, they just did all prefer the friggin' in? sunshine, I doubt they did. Nope. I came on my own. I need information. Do I? You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Somewhat, yeah. Uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something you needed? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. I mean, that's you a good humans are eager you know, to take all reasoning. the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. I'll be going now. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. I'm not really wanting to be renegade. If that's already not been obvious enough. Why? Humans are lame. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Damn right. Is there something I can do for you? You can jump off that ledge for that fucking thing. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her can you at least tell me where I can find her sure she's across the bridge from the embassies ah crap I missed that last bit I don't have time to talk now I'm very busy well whatever hello commander can I get you something Why not? what have you got information mostly oh would you like to know about some points of interest nearby yeah why what's not? going on around here well you found the embassies not much going on here Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the emporium, and Shayera's. Why are you wiping up the bar if you don't sell drinks? You need only information. You try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. I'm gonna just leave. Goodbye. 
you don't have any sort so of long, cool Commander. spacey have drinks at day. this bar, then I have no need to fucking talk the to you. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. Let me Commander, see. good to see you again. Okay, so you're just not gonna talk to me again. Okay. Did I tell him his wife was dead? Or I doubt I did, honestly. Um, Tom Bebatia. What? What? Missions, assignments, can I not? Uh, why can't I go to the other one? There we go. go tell the dude about his thing and then I guess we're just gonna give up on that consort since totally don't know where she's at unless I can see her on the map that's an idea Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? oh wait the shit. wife is coming home Mr. Baccio. thank you I will return home and begin my preparations You're it does welcome. not bring me happiness but it may bring me peace goodbye commander good night Alright, what do we do now? Let me see my map. Avenue. Oh. Um, plot. Okay. Whatever. We're just gonna go to the Citadel and talk to the person. Uh, President Tim. Citadel Tower, there we go. Hey, Mr. Bug, and a dude. What? Follow me? No, I wasn't. Never mind. Mr. Corbin, you're not supposed to touch the bugs. They yelled at me. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Yeah, I want to know why you're touching the bugs. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't waste our time. I can see the lie on your face, Solarian. All right, no need to get I, like uh, you know species I'm not on him. Sure I should be talking to you about this. Well, you're gonna. I'm just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I shoot your foot off if you don't. <laughs> I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. <sighs> well, yeah, you you're not so supposed to touch them. Though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I think I'd the like authorities will openly, definitely disagree with your really disturbing of you know, the creepers, keepers, whatever. Hmm. Let me help, help cuz I'm out. curious I'm about the keepers. About the authorities. Well. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Hell yeah! What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Got it. I should get going then. I understand. I yes, also love to know have much work myself. why things so tick. Long. And good luck with the scanning. Thank you, Mr. Eyeball. Solarian. Cool. Awesome. I hope I do learn more about the keepers. They're kind of interesting looking. Why do you look sad, Mr. Keeper? Now I'm concerned. 
concern for the bug creature. I used to really hate bugs when I was younger. I used to really think they're always creepy. Actually, until like a few years ago, but whatever. Still younger, still counts. Um, but I see why they're cute. I can see why people think they're cute. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Awesome. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Ooh, who is she? Oh, Matriarch so and powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, Asari. they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. Oh, you're an Asari. She will make okay. a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for them. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? That's the thing. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Hmm. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. I guess I saw Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. Boom. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. I mean, it's a two to one vote, really. Think about it. <laughs> come on. Commander Shepard, step forward. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so that escort. <laughs> I'm looking for an Asari count, an Asari, the blue people. Where did you people, where did all these people come from? It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, mm. the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the Ooh. first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. I feel like there should have been We're like a, 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 a ceremony. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. 
Hell yeah. First officially recognized human Congratulations, spectre. Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship. Oh, this Ooh, game is so exciting. You get access to special Bioware. You should go down to the Bioware made some pretty amazing Be games back in the day. Anderson, this is actually a, a whole heck of a lot like KOTOR if anyone's ever played it. Um, I played it for a little bit before. I got to about the part where you the become a Jedi. Be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Mm. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shadow. I don't do it for the thanks. I do it for being a badass. Spectre training, charm, and intimidate talents unlocked. Let's go look at those. What is spectre training? Special training unavailable anywhere in the gallant. Accuracy, effectiveness, all attacks. And grants unity ability. Unity restores dead squad members within fifteen with fifteen percent of health, forty percent shields. Awesome. Increases the damage and generation powers. That regen regenerate an extra point four accuracy per second. I don't get what that means. Anyway. Okay, definitely want higher sniper rifles though. Store discount. Cool. Um, okay. Let's expose Saren. Let's go talk to the ambassador. Scan the keepers. There's 21. Alright. That's weird. That thing talking to that guy about the uh, um, whatever. I'm just gonna call her an escort. The escort didn't open up a new subquest in my journal. That's kind of weird. You saw nothing. Shut up. I'm a specter. Go about your duties, citizens. Oh wait, can I like go? Can I go more places in the Citadel now? Cause that would be real cool. I guess I'll walk. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk just in case I find any more keepers. Get the money and the experience and the fun stuff from that. Yeah. Where sometimes I have to push the button and sometimes I don't have to push the button. Wouldn't it be easier if I never had to push the button? Talk to me. Talk to me, Tally. No one, no one wants to have elevator talk? Come on! In Awkward elevator talk. On Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future speaker, but... Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Oh, that's Many too bad. On hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. <laughs> well, you're going to be waiting for a bit, I guess. <laughs> ah, we're ready. I like how it just locks you in. Like you're in the elevator, you are not allowed to move around. Swear to God, if you need to tell on me for getting close to these creepers, I'll hurt you. Shut up! I don't care. I want to be friends with the insect people that take care of this place. Hmm. Hello. The keepers never paid much attention to that relay line. I always found that a little strange. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. They never pay attention to it, huh? Her legs are cool. God. Does anyone else have, like, vague memories of, like, of 
movies your parents were watching when you were a kid and you saw like a couple scenes from it and just those particular scenes are burned into your mind like you don't remember the movie or the context or just anything about it whatsoever but you just remember those couple scenes or those just couple seconds really because uh there's two movies that i have that for there's one where it's like i think it might have been a horror movie hold on let me talk to this thing ah human Ooh, this one is greatly cool. pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium personal question what are you who are you this one's face name is Della Ninder, hmm. though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. This is oh, this is giving me a Star Please Trek flashback. Hold on, I'll I'll tell the I'll tell the movie story next time. All of great work. <laughs> Show me your items. Because I'm gonna buy some stuff and then. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. View non-human armors because I want to see what you got for a Quarian. Can she? I can't even buy it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, like I said, who there's like stuff here, but I can't grab it, so I guess I'll have to talk to him. Like I said, um, I'm gonna cut it off here and I'm gonna tell my movie story next time. So make sure you come in so you can hear all about my ramblings. I'm also probably gonna marry Tali because she's pretty awesome. Anyway, bye bye.